Hello and welcome to free internship for mechanical engineers. Press tool design with Katia V5. In this video lesson, I am going to explain about the design procedure. The design procedure to design press tools. Before we get started, let's understand what is design. In simple words, Design is nothing but a solution to a problem. For example, a car was designed to solve the problems of transportation. A light was designed to solve the problems of darkness. A robot was designed to solve the problems of productivity and quality. What is a procedure? A procedure is nothing but a sequence of activities performed in a specific order. So, a design procedure is nothing but a sequence of activities performed in a specific order to design a mechanical item. Something like a car, an aircraft, a robo. In our case, it is a press tool. The objective of the design procedure is to successfully complete the creation of design data and submit this design data for manufacturing. The design data consists of the 3D design, the 2D manufacturing drawing and any additional data or information required for manufacturing. For example, you might submit the CAD data for CNC programming. You might also provide some DXF files for wire cut EDM. This design data is released for the manufacturing department so that they can get started with the manufacturing activities. The design procedure is a five step process. Step one is to understand the requirements. Step two is to perform the concept design. Step three is to perform the detailed design. Step four is to create the manufacturing drawings. Step 5 is to release the design data for manufacturing. Let me explain each step in detail. Step 1 is to understand the requirements. In the context of press tool, we need to understand the part requirements. Part requirements like the material, the material thickness, the per side, the grain direction and the production volume. Step 2 is to perform the concept design. In the context of the press tool, the concept design is to finalize the strip layout. What is a strip layout? A strip layout is a drawing which depicts the sequence of operations to manufacture the part. During concept design stage, we are also going to decide the type of the die. In this course, the type of the die has already been decided. We are going to design a blanking die for the power screw support bracket of a car scissor jack. Step 3 is to perform the detailed design. In this step, we are going to finalize the 3D design with attention to details. We are going to finalize each and every dimension. We are going to decide what type of material to be used for each and every part of the press tool. The entire design process is with due consideration for manufacturability. That is design for manufacturability. Step 4 is to create the manufacturing drawings for the parts, sub-assemblies and assemblies of the press tool. The manufacturing drawing consists of the views, dimensions, tolerances and the bill of material. The bill of material is nothing but a list of parts the press tool is made of. In step 5, we are going to release the design data for manufacturing. Before releasing the design data for manufacturing, we need to obtain the approval from the head of the department or the chief engineer. Without the approval from the head of the department or the chief engineer, the manufacturing activities will not be started. Please note, if the head of the department or the chief engineer 
finds a fault or a defect in the design, he or she is not going to approve the design data for manufacturing. The design engineer is responsible for all the five steps of the design procedure. Don't you think it is interesting and challenging to be a design engineer? I am sure all of you are ready to accept this challenge. That's all in this video lesson. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the discussion forum. If you are watching this video on YouTube, do comment your questions. Thanks.